It's crazy barbecue! That's right, we're doing Ed's Crazy Barbecue. We're gonna cook up some chicken leg quarters. Keep it simple, but this is gonna be delicious. We're gonna be marinating this for an hour and Lee Perkins marinade teriyaki. I don't have enough of that, so we're gonna use some of this Lowry's teriyaki too. So it's a combination of both. We're gonna put it in this little cupware thing, actually Rubbermaid thing, and we're gonna season this up with some spice first. And I'll show you what here as soon as I get this in the in the container, so I don't have to do it right now. All right, so we got our chicken in here, and we're gonna season it up. We're gonna put some of the seasoning down inside this skin here. Uh, that way we get a lot of flavor. What we're gonna be using is Pit Boss's smoky salt and cracked pepper. Lee Perkins marinade teriyaki we're gonna put on last some celery salt that we made ourselves and we're gonna cover it with a little bit of sesame seed after we put the marinade on and uh, Tam Tammy my beautiful wife is grinding up some garlic time for b-roll Okay, this is what we'll be grilling on, and we're gonna cook our chicken right on top of this thing here. So let's get this fire going, and then we'll add some charcoal to it when it burns down. This is all uh, hard woods in here. This is an old white oak, and there's some, it looks like poplar maybe, but it's not gonna matter. We're not gonna use this. This is all gonna cook down. We're just gonna use this to start our charcoal. Should use a fire starter. Really show it up on his barbecue cooking. But that's a different time. When we do our outdoor camping, after we get a thousand subscribers, we're gonna do a lot more stuff on camera. I don't film it all now because I want to leave a lot of stuff for later. But we do our outdoor camping. I'll show you some of our fire starts. So hit that subscribe button. I'm going to have to get some paper, it looks like.
All right, I'll bring you back when we get the charcoal out. So the charcoal we'll be using today is Kingsford Hickory. Kings, the charcoal we'll be using today is Hickory Kingsford. You can see that the fire isn't completely burnt down, but that's okay. We're going to add a layer of charcoal now. And then when that turns to just, well, you guys know how to do it. Now don't rush it guys, take your time, let it cook down, get the nice hot coals, you're still going to get that smoke flavor, okay? Be patient. <laughs> Looks pretty hot to me, we're going to set it down on top of the fire. And uh, see the outside of this chicken. And then we'll raise it up and cook it slow. A minute on each side and then we're going to lift this up. We just want to sear the outside, keep the ends, get keep all those juices on the inside. And I'll probably add that other piece of wood so we get a little bit of smoke, but we're going to sear this first. Something you could cook down at the, at the river while you're camping. After you get it seared, you're just going to want to raise it up a little bit. So this can cook nice and slow. I got to buy on up. Just like that. I'm going to add this other piece of wood. And we're going to let that cook for about... I don't know, a good half hour or so, and we'll check it a couple times, and uh, I'll let you see it when it's done. And we're going to do a taste test on uh, Gamma Bomb. It's a new IPA. Well, I don't know how new it is, but it's new to me, and we'll do a taste test on that. And the chicken, as soon as this is done, in about 30 minutes... When you 
do go to flip these. Go ahead and uh, hit it with a little bit of this. Uh, it's a teriyaki marinade with a little bit of uh, orange juice. So orange juice and teriyaki and just kind of dab it on there nice and light every time you flip it. You're going to flip it, I don't know, every six or eight minutes. For a good half hour, 45 minutes, and really get the inside of that good and done. Nobody likes chicken that isn't done. And of course, it's chicken. You want to cook it to an internal temperature of 165 degrees at least near the bone. Patience is the key here. Okay, after you flipped it a few times. These babies will be done. So we'll do a taste test on it. About a half an hour or so when these are done. Or in YouTube time. Right now. Well, the chicken has finally reached 170 degrees. So it's time to eat it. And uh, we've been very patient. Just as like you guys have. Just decorate this chicken a little bit with this green onion we got out of the garden. And some orange Thai peppers, you know, both for some color. And we'll get some photos of this also. But this looks delicious, and I know we're going to enjoy it. I want to thank Crazy Ed over at Crazy Ed's uh, Homestead for inviting us to, to this Crazy Ed's barbecue cook-off. It was a lot of fun. We love cooking. So, And a lot of the channels that we're connected with also love cooking and barbecuing um, because we do cook a lot of our own food can't get it as good as you can at home can you guys well that's not always the case but a lot of times it is so we enjoy cooking we're gonna do a taste test uh, on both the beers and the chicken here in a second and uh, we're gonna bring you guys along but hopefully you're enjoying this atmosphere that we get to enjoy as we enjoy this meal Let's just see how, if this is done all the way, it should be. We'll get, we'll get a uh, chunk of chicken out of here for the gypsy to try. And see if we can get this gypsy approved. Looks good. Nice and juicy. Oh yeah. Skin. There you go. Mm. That's good. Well, those peppers are a little hot. Mm. It's juicy. Yeah, those orange Thai peppers are warm. I gotta get some more of that. I mean, I, they are too, only because I licked my finger. <laughs> I didn't even eat one, but I used my finger to put them on. That's what we're going to use in that base. All right. Let's see how we do corn. Probably going to screw this all up. Tammy says, I wish, I wish I had another beer. And this is the, the Gamma Bomb India Pale Ale by Warped Wing. And that's they're from Dayton, Ohio. And it's 7.2% alcohol by volume. All right, let's see if I can screw this one up. you want to see the professionals do this go watch the root boy cooks or strong's adventure
they do it like pros. Now mine says, who needs luck when you're this cute? I think you have mine. Wait, stop. Rewind that. Mine says, I wish I had another beer. And hers says, who needs luck when you're this cute? All right, Gypsy, try to try that out. First is the chicken. Gypsy approved. Yes, that's very good. Okay. Try your pale ale. Once there was a dictator so evil that he forced upon the masses a beer that had no soul. But then, one good-hearted scientist, or perhaps many posing as one, rose up and concocted an evil, the throbbing formula, and saved the world. Gamma Bomb IPA. An iridescent India Pale Ale with flavors of citrus, pine, and dry resins. Finish that explode with hoppy goodness. Pull the pin. Dayton, Ohio. Let's see. Yep, that, that sums it up right there. Mmm. That's refreshing. And with the orange and the chicken... And that citrus in the in that beer, that IPA, that's a good combination. Mm. And who wouldn't enjoy the restaurant? Till next time, guys. We love you. Peace, y'all. Peace, y'all. And the other side of us is just as pretty. Hope you can see that moon out there in the distance. Did you turn that back on?